Meanwhile, okay, this is where we need to be. I'm the sixth heart. What do you mean? You never... You never like me like that, right? Oh my gosh. I... Oh my, how did you know? So you kissed Coco to forget about your feelings for me. Huh? What? Oh no, what did he say? Coco? What are you doing here? The secret, the twist, the shock. Yes, we found out who the sixth heart was in the last chapter. Catch up if you haven't seen this so you just know the whole plot of Switch. The sixth heart was Quentin. Yes, Quentin. Ronnie's best friend throughout this whole story, throughout most of his life. That one, that was a twist. Quentin came out as our bisexual king. It was just so unexpected. I was not ready for the sixth heart to be Quentin. I thought it'd be someone else, but it was Quentin, which I really, really love. I love how the story took a little bit of a different turn with this. So we saw a little of the backstory of when Quentin developed the feelings and the crush for Ronnie, and his feelings are valid. I, I can see why he felt that way. There was very, there was a lack of communication that went on that kind of led to this broken heart, but they're, they're, they're talking about it now, and they're gonna work through this, and I'm excited to see what happens. You know my own alternate universe, little head canon. we had that alternate version with Ronnie and Quentin, but I think for this one, Ronnie and Harley Early, you're just perfect for each other. But I can dream. I can I can use my imagination. Alusa really is feeding us good right now. So let's jump into the story. If you haven't read Alusa's stories on the app already, go check them out. She's written some amazing stories. Mind Reader, Trapped, more. Go check them out. If you enjoy this and would like some more, please consider giving the video a like because it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Okay, this is where the last one ended off. Coco heard, did you really like Ronnie? I, I did, but did you kiss me because you thought it would help you with the app? I, did you be honest with me? I might have had it in mind when I went to your room. I'm so sorry, it was a stupid idea. Oh, and you ran away the minute you said something was wrong with me. What? You ran away when you realized that the kiss didn't work, didn't you? You made sure that it wouldn't heal your heart. Were you planning it from the beginning? That's why you forced yourself to spend your time with me? Because you wanted to forget about him? Oh, Coco, it's not like that. I feel like a fool. Of course, I always have to be someone's second choice. Coco, no, you're jumping. You're jumping too far ahead. That I don't think that's what happens at all. I think Quentin genuinely really likes Coco and wants to be with her. But there is just that like part of his heart that never fully healed from Ronnie. First running after a playboy just to figure out I don't even know who I am. Then actually falling for someone that treats me like an experiment. I don't want to be a rebound, Quentin. But it's not like that. Oh, poor Quentin. Quentin, I feel really bad. Are you busy? What's going on? You look terrible. Yeah, I don't feel too well. Is it connected with the black man? Oh no, we took care of that. We, we found out exactly who it was and he is gone. I... I did just want to be alone tonight. Oh, we're not even lying. We thought about you. I thought about you. We were not just passing by. We came here with a reason, and that was to see Harley. Exactly. Exactly. So you wanted to talk to me. It's 1 a.m. It doesn't sound okay, does it? Damn, I'm sorry. I shouldn't haunt you like this. I better go home. It's no problem, Ronnie. Oh, are you sure? Hey, I can see you're not feeling well. We're friends. Whatever is bothering you, I can take it. Okay, if you say so. So what's wrong? So we're going to tell Harley I screwed something up big time. Right. <laughs> it's not about the kiss, is it? Our kiss. Yeah, that you regret it or. No, it was actually a good part of the day. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So what was the bad part? Well, we have a little pass with Quinson. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No, it's fine. We're going to open up. I want to tell you. Maybe we can go out and get some fresh air. I actually know a nice place. Let's tell Harley. She's gonna understand. I think she's gonna understand. She's shook. That's pretty much everything that happened. Quentin is a sixth heart? 
It's still abstracting me, especially said out loud. Anyway, I just made him upset. Maybe his heart was broken even more. I'm worried about Coco. I can't believe she arrived the exact moment you two were discussing things. Coco walked in at the wrong time. Maybe that's why she hasn't come back home. She might have joined some party to relax. Quentin ran after her, but I think the damage was done. I don't think they can work it out, to be honest. He still has feelings for me. I can't believe he kissed Coco for fun while still having feelings for you. The moment I see him, I'll scrap his eyes. It's all my fault that he was pushed to do something like that. I bet he hates me right now. Don't beat yourself up. Sometimes you can't do much about how others feel about you. I kissed him while I was drunk. It's my fault. Hey, one kiss doesn't make you fall in love, but my stupid talk later did. It's, it's a very, I lied about something back then. And that lie led him to believe that I might be into him. Why did you lie? Just foolish young me, too proud to face the truth. Until then, covering all my problems with a smile and sassy words worked well. Didn't know it would end up this way. Oh, oh. Okay, I heard my best friend may live like that for years. I didn't even notice that something was off. What kind of person am I? And today I made it even worse. Ronnie's fist clenched while he curled himself, looking down from the cliff. His eyes were empty for the first time and Harley had never seen like this art is beautiful by the way. Actually, I hurt everyone I care about and I don't want to hurt anyone else. I didn't want to be such a shitty person. See the Quentin thing though, yes mistakes were made, especially when he was drunk and he said some stupid shit. Mistakes were made, but a lot of this stems from lack of communication and I don't actually think Ronnie's a shitty person. I think he's actually a very good person. He's made some mistakes. We've all seen the mistakes, but I don't think he's a shitty person at all. And he genuinely wants to be a better person. And I, I really think he already is a better person, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hey, the moment Ronnie felt Harley's warm hands wrapping around him from behind, his heart became steady. See, this is what I think like, Ronnie and Harley are just perfect for each other. They're just perfect. But I still want my alternate universe Quentin Ronnie story. He didn't know what to do, but something told him to lean into her and embrace and put his hand on her lap. They stayed in silence for a few minutes before Harley whispered to his back. I choose people around me very carefully and if I let you in, it means you're a good person. Just the fact that you're upset about it says a lot about you, Ronnie. If you were a shitty person, you wouldn't care or you would have blamed it on him. Exactly. Maybe. Oh, we're going to hold Harley's hands. We're going to hold Harley's hands. We were given the option. We're going to do it. Ronnie tied his grip on Harley's hand and for a moment they stayed close. He felt her breath on his neck and her steady heart pumping through his skin. You're so warm. I was in her blanket for two hours. I'm like a little ready. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. Oh, thanks Harley for being here with me. Always. We should probably get back. It's cold and I don't want to be responsible for your pneumonia. I have outstandingly healthy lungs. Just admit that you're cold and want to go back. I guess he's better. Oh, okay. So that was a cute moment. That was real cute. I've taken up enough of your time, haven't I? I should stay the night. Excuse, excuse me, excuse me, stay the night, what, what, stay the night, if you want you can stay the night, you're not taking things slow are you Andrews, oh my gosh, excuse me, shut up, you lived here for weeks, and it's already 3am, your apartment is far away, and I'm gonna sassly agree, we're not playing hard to get, no need to shove me with the arguments, you convinced me once you said stay the night. You're horrible, I'm having second thoughts. Don't worry, I'll behave. Good. Oh, you're... What? Oh, you're quick. You better change your clothes too, they're drenched in your tears. <laughs> hey, they're not. I'll go to my bed. Or are they gonna... Or we can watch something in my bed if you want. <gasps> Me right now, what about the roll to now again to your bed? I'm pretty sure you broke it when you turned into a guy for the first time and trapped me half naked. Or when you slept on my shoulder after studying. That one too. Or when you shared a bed in that dungeon arm trip. Or that one. You don't have to if. If you don't want to. He's already, I'm sorry, I'm always excited about sleepovers. I used to do it a lot with. With Quentin. I told him I'm staying here, but no response. Same as Coco, she should be back by now. He's probably mad at me. Are you feeling any better? A bit. But this situation is messed up. I don't think I'll ever be able to get my body back. I can't love Quentin back like that. I like girls. Maybe he doesn't want it. Why would he confess then? I don't know. Maybe it's something you can still fix tomorrow. 
you're right there's nothing i can do right now just try to focus on something else huh um you like you we're, we're taking this chance we're here that was smooth but you're not in a good place and i won't be distracted from quentin i was just teasing you and you even blushed i didn't so what movies do you have maybe trapped it was released two weeks ago i hope it won't be as crappy as that mafioso movie that coco recommended what movie Pfft, not the movie remember the movie it's finally out i want to see it no, no 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 okay fine yes you're too happy about it so they're one hour later and I will always love you. Okay, we, <laughs> good that they finally talk things through. An example, hey Harley, last time I don't think we really finished our conversation and I thought, oh, maybe tomorrow. Kiss Harley on the forehead. We're getting the points. We're getting the points. We're being cute. It's gotta be cute. Okay. Hey, Harley, have you seen Coco? She didn't come back last night. I don't think Dahlia knows. That. Oh. Um, Dahlia, I'm sorry. I didn't know you two were, were not. Hi, Dahlia, what's up? Don't be so casual. Don't be so stiff. So Coco didn't come back last night. Yeah, I'm worried about her. What if she twisted her ankle again? Wait, she's calling. Coco, where are you? Sorry, my phone was dead. I just charged it in Quentin's room. Quentin's room? Everyone's in each other's rooms. What? So you're acquainted with the apartment. We're, we're, wait. We're, we are not about to gloss this over. Guilty. I was worried sick. Well, Ronnie wasn't in his room either, so do you have something to tell me? Uh, can we talk somewhere else? Okay, I don't follow. What happened? Well, yes, flashback. Okay, this is what happened. Okay, Quentin went after her. We're not doing this. Doing what? Repeating the most frustrating miscommunication trope. Yes, Quentin. I watched my sex lessons lately and it didn't end well for the main couple. When Alessia didn't tell Fabrio, Fabri, Fabricio, Fabricio about the pregnancy and raise their child alone because she assumed that he cheated on her with the girl that later appeared to be his cousin twice removed? That one. But they got together in the end. After 10 years, I won't let you disappear from my life for 10 years just because of one stupid line Ronnie said. I won't let you think for one more minute that you were second best, Coco. <gasps> I did something very dumb. I kissed you because I was pushed by my own insecurities. But you're wrong about the reason I ran away. It wasn't because I thought what I did was wrong. You didn't? I ran away because I didn't want our first kiss to be that desperate. I wanted to fix my heart and it wasn't the right motivation to do it. I stopped because I want to do it properly when... When you made sure Ronnie doesn't love you. That's what I'm talking about. I was your second option. No, but I wanted to explain the situation to Ronnie before I do anything that big. You didn't deserve that. You deserved something real. I wanted to, you to feel that I want you for you. For me, you're my soulmate, Coco. Oh, wow. When we kissed, I felt my heart healing. I can feel it. You're the person made for me. Am I? When you upset our talk, I was just telling him that I really like you. That my life was a mess until you appeared. The minute I saw you in Harley's bedroom, I just lost my voice. And the more time we spent, the more I saw how we fit together. And I thought that during the confrontation with Ronnie, all those feelings I had for him would come back. But I really see the only thing that made me upset tonight was the thought of losing you. I admire how kind you are to others and always see a good side on everyone. And I love how creative and talented you are. You're my biggest inspiration and the best person to scream at D-class movies with. They're made for each other, too. I love Quentin. Quentin's character arc has been so good, from the best friend to the bisexual king to now with Coco. It's so perfect. Oh, he thinks he loves Coco. Oh, my. But I understand if I mess things up, I just thought that you, Quentin, is his heart going to get fixed? And the sixth broken heart is fixed. So we, we're almost done. So we went to my place, I mean your apartment. Oh, damn, you're quick. But I don't understand you confess. So you didn't want to actually be with me. I tried to tell you that it was old, <laughs> but we got interrupted. The broken hearts on the list were defined when the curse was created, and it was weeks ago. I guess things changed. Right, it's true that the list is old. You still could just heal yourself and let it slide, or you could pretend that you didn't know about it. It wouldn't be fair I wanted to talk to you. I owed you the truth you're my friend. I didn't wait to see my heart inside the app without knowing it for me. I am still so sorry that it all happened. I wasn't aware that you. It's okay, Ronnie. I finally got over it. Aren't you mad at me then for kissing you? It's weird, but 
I'm not. I don't even think I could be with you. Hey, I mean, you spend at least 40 minutes in the bathroom every single day and you sing too loudly in your room, man. Okay, I get it, I get it. So friends, friends, I'm so relieved. I thought you'd never speak to me again. Oh, I just want you to be happy with whoever it is. I want you to be happy too. I'm happy with Coco. I haven't felt like this in years. Everyone is in cute moments. To be honest, without the push from the love app, I wouldn't have the guts to ask her for a date. So there are some perks that came from this drama. You're welcome. So you're healed. It isn't a joke. You won't find out until next week. Hey. Okay, this, I can't believe it ended like this. It ended real cute. I'm shook and surprised. Wow. Some people are just meant to be either like you two. Like you two. They are. I wonder who I mentioned last night. Thanks for having me back yesterday. I felt like I would have done something very stupid last night if it wasn't for you. Hey, you can always talk to me. I had a good time too. Oh, did you? Okay, maybe that horrible movie wasn't the best time, but I just like spending time with you. Oh, so cute. I need to find my class. See you later. Good luck. Okay, they're, they're moving. They're really moving forward. And Ronnie Summers makes the Bulls win again. Go, Ronnie, go. So you're with Quentin now. I think so. It was a very cute night. And he made me breakfast. I'm happy for you. I was surprised when I got back at the dorms and you weren't there. Sorry, my phone was dead. And I didn't think about charging it earlier. We were too busy. Speaking of, I went back to the morning and went to Harley's room. And Harley slept in one room with Summers that I missed something. Oh, did they? I think they're a thing. I was shocked. It's pretty surprising, yes. To be honest, seeing Harley with the player. I never suspected to see her with someone like that. Doesn't she have, like, huge trust issues? Oh, you're talking about... As she didn't have enough stress about the players in her life. She knows how it feels to be left to fend for herself. I'd have huge trauma. So Harley was with someone before. A player broke her heart. 